Hey everybody, I know that this week is Palm Sunday, and Palm Sunday, usually we have a time before worship while the organ is playing where people come in and they're waving their palms and they're shouting Hosanna, but unfortunately we can't do that this year. So instead of having a long parade of palms, we will have a organ song being played before worship this week. And I'm going to show you how to make some palms at home so that you and your family can have some palms ready so that you can do Palm Sunday in your own house. And I want everybody to do it this week, and I would love to see you take pictures, do videos, and send them to the church later this Sunday. I'm going to show you two different ways to make palms. One is a little bit more complicated, needs a little bit more uh, supplies, and one, all you need is a piece of paper and a pair of scissors. So let's look at these two crafts. Let's start with the maybe a little bit more complicated one. It's not that complicated. You really only need a piece of paper, maybe a little bit of glue, some scissors, and then uh, I'm going to use a popsicle stick, but something to attach what we're going to do together to this. Uh, this is a great one because if you have some kids out there and you are... Uh, looking for a way to have some more handprints around your house like we all are. This is a good one to do. First thing you're going to do is going to take a sheet of paper. It doesn't have to be green, but I happen to have a piece of green paper thanks to the children's uh, room here at the church. And what you're going to do is you're going to trace either your hand or your kids' hands on the sheet of paper. Um, it's a little bit easier if you want to, instead of using two sheets of paper, Make sure you have enough room to trace both of your hands on the same sheet of paper. I just did the first one. Here's the second. There we go. There's the second one. And then all you have to do is cut it out. But before you cut it out, you might want to think about writing something on the hands. Now, with uh, Palm Sunday, it's a reminder of the time that Jesus came in on his donkey and people were shouting Hosanna. So maybe Hosanna would be a great thing to write down on one of your palms. Now, in the other palm, you can actually put the Bible verse that has this. It's John 12, 13. Let me read that to you. John 12, 13 says this. And they took palm branches and they went outside to meet him shouting Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. I did a little bit of work beforehand, so I'm going to um, put this away. But what I did was I, I did my hands, and then I cut them out, and I wrote on them. So one of my hands does say Hosanna, and one of my hands says John 12, 13. I encourage you to write one of those two on there. The next thing you're going to do is get a popsicle stick or something and glue them onto the popsicle stick. Super easy. A little bit of glue. If you don't have glue, I guess tape could work. I'm not a big uh, crafty person, but I'm trying to be for this video. And you simply put them... Alright, so I did that and with just a little bit of glue, here I go. I've got my palm for Palm Sunday. This side says John 12:35. And I'm pretending that the organ is playing. There we go. And look, my other side says, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. All right, I've got my blank sheet of paper. We're going to make this one sheet of paper uh, into a palm by just doing a simple fan fold. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't have to be a plain sheet of paper. You can decorate it a little bit. Look at that. I wrote Hosanna on this sheet of paper as well. So if you make a fan fold right now, all it is is going to look like a fan. But if you do a couple of little triangles at the top with some scissors, what you'll have at the end, I'm just cutting some simple triangles. You see that? Simple triangles. And when you have done it all the way across, you'll have more of a palm shape. Thank you. 
All right, so I have cut my sheet of paper. You see there's kind of some jagged triangles up top. Now this is the only complicated thing you have to do, and that is we're going to fold it. If you've never done a fan folding thing before, it's not that hard. You just have to do it a little bit right. All right, so you're going to turn it like this. You're going to have the jagged edge to one side. Instead of having it on top, you're going to have it on the side. And all you're going to do is fold a little bit in, maybe an inch, maybe half an inch, just a little bit. When you've done that, flip it over, going to fold it again the same size. Okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. It will work however you do it. All right? Once you've done one on that side, fold it back over here, flip it again, and you're just going to keep doing that all the way to the end. You fold and then you flip. And then you fold and then you flip. Fold, flip. You might be folding, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 times. I haven't counted it before. Fold and flip. Fold and flip. So at the end, yours is going to look like this. Pretty much just a straight line across. You got the kind of jagged things going on here. Now a little trick here is when, you, when you're done, you've got the straight edge right here. Fold it in a little bit on the one side, like that. Flip it over, and you can fold it right back. And then you're going to straighten it out. So you don't have any real folds. It's just straight right here. All right? And now here's what you're going to do. You're going to hold it at the bottom, and you're going to fan it out. Now, since it's folded, it might not be that easy, since you only have two hands, so you can use your mouth. There you go. And you have a little palm in your hand. Mine says Hosanna. And you can wave it just like that. And I want to see y'all waving this week. I want you to take pictures. I want you to take videos. Y'all have a great Palm Sunday. I want to see y'all waving those palms and shout Hosanna in your own houses this week.